Hi there, I just came off the phone this morning having had a really good conversation with one of my girls and we were talking a little bit about nutrition and I came up with a really good analogy and a task and I think you're all going to really like it. So, I want you to have a little think about your food environment and I want you to imagine that your brain is a little five-year-old child because it kind of is but not in a condescending way. When it comes to nutrition, our brain very much is. So in evolutionary terms, our brains haven't really caught up with us. We are living in a very energy abundant world where we don't have to do very much, but we can get all of this energy in really, really quickly. However, our brains still think that starvation is just around the corner. So when we tell our brains that we're on a diet or that we're restricting food, Think about it like a five-year-old. If you tell a five-year-old you're not going to get cuddles, you're not going to get sweeties, you're not going to get toys, what are they going to instantly want? No, I want cuddles, I want toys, I want sweeties. That's the way it behaves and that's exactly how your brain's going to behave. It's going to want all of that stuff. So be very careful how you talk to yourself and treat yourself in terms of nutrition. We don't want to go into a food scarcity mode by overly restricting, we just want to consume lots and lots of really good food that's going to give us lots of energy and make us feel good. Um, So make sure that's in abundance. Also, how would a five-year-old react in your kitchen? So if they were in your kitchen, in your house all day, and no one else was there, and it was up to them to feed themselves, in your kitchen specifically, and this is going to be your task today, go and have a look around, How would a five-year-old feed themselves in your kitchen? Is there lots of yummy apples and nice colourful veggies and fruits and different healthy treats, some different nuts and different things in there that they would consume and go, "Mm, actually that tastes really nice? Or would they find lots of cookies and crisps and chocolate and all of these kind of things? Because that is very much where our brain is. So if you think that a five-year-old is in your kitchen and that's the kind of stuff it's going to be consuming because it doesn't know any better. I know know that you know better. However, this is the fight that you're having with yourself every day. If there's all of that food in there, your little brain, very much like a a little five-year-old, is going to be going, I want that. I want that cookie and I want those crisps. When can I have that? I want to have that now. When can we have that? Well, maybe we'll eat this healthy thing, but then we're going to eat that. We're going to eat that because we ate that healthy thing. That's very much what your brain's going to be doing. Are you going to be having that constant fight with yourself all day? And that just sounds exhausting. Really, really exhausting. So please do yourself a favour. Go into your kitchen. Imagine a five-year-old is in there all day. And have a wee think about what you would put away. Because you don't want that five-year-old eating that all day. And if that's the case... Those are the things that are going to be giving you so much turmoil in terms of your nutrition. Now, I'm not telling you to go and bin all of those foods in your house, but it's good to be aware and be knowledgeable and then have a wee think about your next shopping trip. How much of that stuff do you want to be in your food environment? How much of that stuff do you want to be arguing with yourself every day about not consuming? And then just have it on the odd occasion when you're out and about is a good way to do it. So... This is your task. Think of the five-year-old brain um, and see, and honestly, tell me what it would do in your house. And if there's things that you can make to change your nutrition to make yourself feel really good, then go for it. Um, and remember that that food's always out there, that the sugary, overly processed food's always out there and so easy to get. So the worst comes to the worst, you have to go to the shop and buy something. But give it a wee try, see how it goes. And I promise you, you will make some really good decisions and never look back. You know where I am if you have any questions.